Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within the Properties dialog box of a selected public folder, you can click the Folder Assistant button that appears on the General tab to create, edit, delete, or turn on and off the rules that you have created. Setting up rules for a folder is a straightforward concept. A folder rule simply states that when items arrive to the folder that meet specified criteria, they will then be processed by whatever the rule dictates should happen when an item of that type is received. You can have multiple rules applied to a single folder. The rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules that appears. They can also be modified later or deleted entirely if they no longer apply. You can also turn them on and off without having to delete and recreate them. In the Folder Assistant dialog box, click the Add Rule button to launch the Edit Rule dialog box. Here you can set the condition upon which the rule will act. It either could be when the item is from an individual or sent to an individual. If that is the case, you will need to click the appropriate button and select the correct names. You can check the Sent Directly To and or Copied CC To checkboxes to include those types of items as well. You can also specify the subject or message body content that the rule will act upon by typing what you want the rule to act upon into those text boxes. Once you have set up what will trigger the action of the rule, all that is left is to specify what the rule will do when it receives an item in the folder that matches the criteria you set. You can check either Return to Sender, Delete, Reply With, or Forward. You can select more than one action if desired. In addition, if you are replying, you must check the checkbox and then click the template button to type up what you want as the reply in the body of the email message that appears. If you click the forward checkbox, then you will need to click the to button to select a recipient. You can also set the format of the forwarded message by using the method drop down button below that. When you are finished, click the OK button to set the folder rule. Then click the OK button in the Folder Assistant dialog box to apply the rule. Notice that the rule appears within the Folder Assistant dialog box with a check mark in front of it. You can turn a rule off by simply returning here and clearing the check from the check box to shut the rule off. You can turn it back on by simply clicking the same check box to put the rule in place once again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.